Hey, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day. All right, this is road trip week, and we're coming into our fourth stop along the road. Today, we're on a country lane, and it's an obscure little lane, but it gives me a chance to look at an obscure road that's talked about in the Bible. Obscure, yes, but also highly instructive and something that I think we should all focus on. Now, this comes out of a little bitty book in the New Testament called Jude. That book's just one chapter long, and it's got some really unusual things in it that make you go, huh, wonder what that's about. But there's a passage in it, and it's in verse 11. You say, which chapter? Well, Jude only has one chapter. See, real little book. Verse 11 in chapter 1, or the only chapter of Jude, says, Woe to them, for they walk in the road of Cain. Now, a lot of people don't say, you know, they say, well, Cain Road. What is, what is Cain Road? Uh, unless you're from southern Louisiana, where they grow sugar cane, and then you might be thinking something different. But it's translated usually the way of Cain. It's the Greek word hodos, which means road or way or path like I talked about yesterday. But but the road of Cain is a really interesting concept. It's talking, of course, about Cain who slew Abel, his brother, in that Genesis story that we know well after the Garden of Eden. Uh, in fact, it's frequently a clue in the New York Times crossword puzzle if you do such things. Anyway, um, uh, the way of Cain is one that's described in the book of Jude so that we get an idea of what he's talking about. He says in the before verse 11, he ta says that these are people who rely on dreams, defile the flesh, reject authority, blaspheme the glorious ones. Now those sound pretty stout, even if we're not sure what they all mean. Somebody who's living their life um, uh, just not taking care of themselves, uh, not uh, respecting authority, not um, uh, giving honor where honor is due. Those things are very much walking in the way or walking down the road of Cain. But they're not the only ways it's described there in Jude. Because after verse 11, we get it a little bit closer to home and a little bit easier to understand. The road of Cain is one that's filled with grumblers. I mean, who doesn't like to grumble occasionally? It's filled with malcontents. I mean, okay, sometimes I'm not as content as I should be with the way God has dealt with me in this life, heaven forbid. It's talking about loud mouth boasters. Well, I'm a lawyer. That hits a little too close to home. Talks about showing favoritism to gain advantage. I mean, at the root of all of these is the road of Cain. It's a destructive and a murderous road. It's a road that doesn't build up and edify and work for common good. It's a road that works for selfish gain. It's a road that's intent on doing what what we want for us and not what we know is best. I don't want to walk down that road. That is not a road where I want to walk. It's not a road where I want to stop. It's not a road where I want to dwell. I want as far from that road as I can be. I hope you'll join me on this road trip. Let's flee the road of Cain and let's find a path to righteousness. That's your video thought for today.